Hello and welcome back, one and all, to Campaign 10, Divine Fervor. I'm your host as always, Vernity Void. And this here is part four. If you want to know what happened in the last part, you can go back and watch part three. But for now, we're going to go over a couple national ideas of some of the more prominent nations today. Uh, and in particular, we'll take a look at the number one spot on our leaderboard that uh, from last part that is Japan. I'll read their third and fourth national ideas because you know they're a bit prominent and from here we'll, uh, we will go forth uh, with part four. So uh, the third national idea of Shimabara turned Japan is come together. On this island of Japan we the Christians stand as one against a dark devil. Yes, the missionaries may not like our comprehension of the Bible, but they have to comply and to under and understand that unity is needed, despite our difference and uh, of understandings. And the, tw and the fourth national idea is 26 martyrs of Japan, 26 crucifixions, 26 martyrs entered heaven in 1597. Don't mind that it's only 1521 right now. They serve as an eternal source of inspiration for us. They suffered so we could live. We must never forget their sacrifice. Manpower recovery speed plus 25% for that one, and the previous national idea gives religious unity plus 22.5%. So, the most prominent force right now, so taking over East Asia bit by bit, Japan. Vassals of, uh, has a vassal in Inazuma, tributary of Takigawa and Guanseo. Let's go. Uh, let's go forth. Uh, there are also there's also a war going on with the Guri, the Gurids. They are invading Hunza, and Hunza is on the back foot, despite having a one six two one general. Although the Gurids have a four three six zero, there's another battle. Let's take a look at the stats. Uh, the Gurids outclass Hunza in discipline. Uh, about the same on morale and tactics, about the same. So a lot of it is uh, Hunza just taking more losses in these battles and unable to sustain uh, their front lines. Uh, and they're also one military tech behind, which is also playing a key role in this. However, the Gurids don't have as much manpower to draw upon, so that could be a decisive factor later on in the war. Retia invaded Moravia successfully and took over half of their land, including their former capital, which is a very nice grasslands province. So, Moravia needs to find some help, or Retia is just going to devour them. You know, Retia is becoming very, very powerful. And they don't even have, like, super uh, militaristic national ideas. They're just, it's kind of like... Uh, it's kind of middle of the road, which I like to see, and they're doing very well with it. Averton is chilling with their autocratic rule and their ally in Denmark, Foi and Partu. Uh, any other wars going on? Let's take a look. Yes, Beta Israel, our Semyon, is going after Welaita and is seemingly winning. Yes, two military techs ahead of Walaita means this war looks to be very much in the f in, into, in the favor of Beta Israel, or Semyon. We have Beta Israel, where's Alpha Israel and Delta Israel, huh? Uh, Kalchakwi, they're gathering up their forces to defend against Kahamarka, and the what kind of jet? What? Holy shit. Hold on, hold on here. You're... You literally rolled the perfect general, and that's your ruler. Your ruler is greedy, but he's a conqueror, and he's a bold fight. Like, that greed is well-founded, okay? It is well-founded. However, such greed cannot win you battles alone. Such martial prowess in the hands of one leader does not win battles alone. Kalchakwi wins the battle on their home turf, and Nazca could be occupied. But I don't think it's going to be occupied for long. So, we'll see. 
Uh, anyways, the papacy is still going after uh, Salento, and they're still dancing around in Italy. Uh, Li Yue is going after Toyotomi Steel. Uh, Midang, did they actually land? Or is it just a blockade? It's still just a blockade. Li Yue is going after Yeyusu instead. Tendai is being dismantled by uh, Takigawa, as one might expect. So, eh. I mean, sure, Inazuma is helping out over here, but it's like, that's not really gonna matter. It's not really going to do much. Takigawa just defeated a stack, a small stack right there. And they're winning around the Inland Sea. I don't think Li Yue is going to land any troops, though. Toyotomi's uh, haven there on the island is safe for now. And Hunza just keeps losing battle after battle. Uh, and I, I dare I say this war over Badakshan is well and truly in the favor of the Ligurids. I do like the tenacity of Hunza, though. They are not giving up. They are draining the manpower of the Ligurids. Yeah, Yusu is full... Well, not fully occupied, but... You know, the prosperous parts down here are occupied by Pangasinan. Uh, oh, hold on. It might not all be over for Walaita. They might still try to rally, but I mean, even if they win it, like, I don't know. I don't know. Walaita does have some nice defensiveness, but they don't have any, like, additional attrition for enemies, so I don't think they're going to do too much. And plus, well, actually, Semyon's uh, general is only a 1-3-2-0, so no bonus to siege. If Welaita gets over to, like, Semyon's fortresses, those fortresses will go down pretty quickly. Always keeping my finger on the on the pulse of these wars. Isfahan is going after Mazandran, aka my child. And also, Muscovy is in this. So... 2v1 Isfahan trying to snuff out the likes of the other Zoroastrian nation while Armenia and Assyria go at it again. And this time if Armenia wins, Assyria is getting land taken away. It is that simple. There's no room for that, for, for any like quarter here. Uh, the Gurids did win against Hunza and they took a fair lot of land including Hunza's own capital. However, Hunza still has a fair few provinces, so they're not completely down and out, but they need an ally. They really need, like, Dundar or Janpur. If they get Janpur, holy shit, that's a really nice ally. But, mm. uh, it's still Japan. Oh, oh, the Japanese conquest of Okinawa. I didn't even see that one. Uh, against Yayusu, Toyotomi, and Takigawa. Takigawa annexed most of Tendai, and because of that, Takigawa has a huge amount of power here. Um, however, Yayusu is kind of dead meat. They are not doing much. They can't do much, honestly. They really cannot. Muscovy has actually, actually stopped the siege, and, well, I mean, Mazandran is just hung out to dry. And Armenia has nowhere near enough troops to besiege Mosul, so... What are you gonna do, Armenia? Call upon those reserves before Assyria can get back at you. Uh, now, we're gonna see if Muscovy and Mazandran can hold out against Isfahan's 3-4-0-0. Mazandran is one tech behind, but... It is not enough. Mazandran and Muscovy sent packing. You know, I'm, I'm disheartened by it, but... After that one... After the, my child being over-ambitious in that one war, and losing land to Isfahan, it's like, I... What are you doing, brother? What are you doing? Uh, Akan land is going after Kabu, trying to finish off Kabu, really. 
and take the rest of this land. If a con land is successful, which I think they will be, this is a huge influx of power. There's a lot of nice uh, provinces here. Contour producing palm oil, ivory being produced in Do, and Gabu. What does Gabu, Gabu produce? I, no, not ivory. Lead, and it's the center of trade. And Beifada, ivory. You know, it's, it's pretty good land. Well, like this capital is sieged down, it's looking very bleak for the Kalingenic. Kalingenic? Kalingenic. Welaita. Mazandran and Muscovy, they're still trying, but it's just looking worse and worse. Trankebar going after Kolotunad, a brewing battle in southern India. I didn't expect this at all. Seems like trade rights are being fought over, and Kolotunad's capital is about to go down. However, Kolotunad with a force 631, that's a really good fucking general. Uh, but they are two techs behind at Trankebar, so they want to avoid any such battles. I have a feeling Trankebar is going to uh, enforce their trading privileges. Pangasinan took land away from Yayusu. Takigawa suffering under the invading brunt of Shimabara turned Japan. You know, I had my doubts whether Japan was going to take navally invading Takigawa seriously. But I was wrong. I was completely wrong. They really want to put put to the sword Yayusu, Toyotomi, and uh, Takigawa. Like this is you don't get you don't get like 40k soldiers from Japan and think like they don't take this seriously. No, they they, they really are taking it seriously. Armenia still working on getting down Mosul, but as soon as like Assyria unoccupies uh, Mush, it's just well the war is back to where it started, right? Yep, it's still it's and Assyria is gonna take this battle. I have a feeling. Yes, they. Are. Oh no no no! Armenia turned it around. Oh shit! Assyria. It is going from bad to worse. I really thought that they were gonna that uh, Armenia was gonna lose there, but no. Clap, 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 Armenia. That was a nice turnaround. Isfahan is chasing Muscovy's army, but it's just at this point, I think it's just I think the Paduspanids replacing the Dabuyids. It was it was a bad omen. Hold up. Okay, I thought. Thought I saw something. Salento, now allied with Foix. The papacy allied with Champagne, Duvacha, Mondstadt, and Bremen. Any any Protestantism afloat? Not yet? Not yet. If Protestantism doesn't come about by like 1535, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna spawn it in. Pick a, pick a nation that wants to become, that was like their creator wanted them to become Protestant and spawn it in that way. Because it should be. It should be here. Like, hold on, can I, can I, can Kuln convert? No, they cannot. Oh, and Mondstadt is the defender of the faith, interesting. All right. Okay, let's see, uh, any new wars? Nope, just the same ones. Yeah, I mean, Rasht may not be occupied, but the capital is occupied. And Isfahan isn't taking no for an answer. Isfahan is here and they want land, they want money, they want power. Li Yue actually is taking an interesting approach. They aren't going for, like, the Philippine Islands or anything like that. No, they're just content with expanding inland in China, which is not what we're used to if we see a coastal Chinese nation. Usually, 
in my experience, they go for centers of trade, but Li Yue is land focus, which is pretty cool. Takigawa lost land to Japan, and they are now warned. So Takigawa better stay peaceful. Oh yeah, how is Hawaii doing? No rivals, no allies. But they are colonizing Micronesia. They're getting closer and closer to finding some friends, maybe. Kutai is filling out Borneo. Uh, Cebu is filling out Borneo as well. Inazuma is coming down here to Palawan. Enusulafka. What are you up to? Kutai. And Vononeria is allied to Cebu. Sumeru allied to Dundar, Trankebar, won it, winning the war against Kolosunar, annexing the Maldives, as well as some nice provinces from Kolotunad. So Trankebar monopolizes more of South India. Yatenga. I think they're going to form Mosi. Oh, Kabu is actually... Okay, they are a tributary of Akan. Um, but I enabled them to form Mosi, so they just need that one last province, and they will, they will form the nation with the green and orange stripes. Peace between Kalchakwi and Kahamarka. And Sulaset is inching ever closer to Kalchakwi. I wonder what's gonna happen. Average land and easy land do not border just yet, but soon enough. Oh, soon enough, they will. Fwa has colonized or is colonizing Bermuda. So Fwa will be the one will be making contact over here. Do we have the institution of colonialism? Not yet. Probably this part, but not quite yet. Sangvisferi is still alive. But still no allies. Kiev still has their old allies of Livonia and Rhaetia. Not too bad. Oh, and the Gur... Okay, well, now my now this is kinslaying. The Gurids are putting down the remnants of Mazandran, and I don't blame them for it. Like, it's, it's easy pickings. It, it really is easy pickings. And Muscovy, I don't know who your ally is going to be now. Maybe Sin? I mean, Jainism, it's pretty nice. We'll see, I guess. Hunza needs an ally. Powo needs an ally. There's so many people that need friends. Won't you help them out? You, dear viewer, won't you help them out? Which one of these fine nations would you like to, def would you like to defend and befriend? Say now in the comments. Bakal Kanu. Oh, and it should be, should be noted that I did uh, switch around the government forms of the tribal nations. Uh, like Kahamarka, I spun the wheel, basically. Kahamarka landed on Republic, Kalchakwi landed on Theocracy. Uh, Yatenga landed on Monarchy, Katsina landed on Republic, etc, etc. So, you know, divisions between governments, but that's really about it. Mzab, a nice, nice shape in North Africa. They're just, they are chilling with Duvatsha at the, uh, at their side. And Fwa, I might have to enable the uh, enable France to be formed. Really, I might. Or they could form Ossetania if they thrive enough. Mm-hmm. There's the, yep, they, they still have Cathar feudalism. Nice. Ooh, some good some good tenants. Idea cost, morale of armies, advisor cost. Some very solid stuff, Fwa. Nine, ten, nine. Good shit. Let's take a look at the wars. 
Uh, this is Volnomeria and Cebu versus Enusulafka and Kutai. I have to imagine that Enusulafka is going to lose quite a bit here, if not be fully annexed, because Kutai can't do much. They're putting a little bit of pressure on Cebu, but Kutai is not leaving Borneo. And Vononeria is going to absolutely dismantle the military of Enusulafka on Sumatra. That's, I, 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 that's how I'm predicting it to go. And my child is dead. The Dabuyids, overthrown by the Paduspanids, are no more. Isfahan, allied with Armenia, and the Gurids, allied with Ja- Oh, shit. That's a powerhouse of an alliance. Hunza, good luck. Dundar, 24k. What are you, what are you on? You're also allied with Sumeru and Satavahana. Hunza better get some ally, otherwise it's looking more and more dicey over there. Lebanon and Farfaria. Lebanon's going into the Nile River, and they're taking a swim on their own time. Fafaria can't do really much of anything. Their military just doesn't compete with Lebanon's. This is quite the reversal from the test run, because in the test run, toward the end of it, Fafaria invaded Lebanon and annexed a hell of a lot of land. If not, it was, I think it might have been a full annex, actually. But, yeah... Lebanon this time reversing the tables and is also allied with Morea. The Druze are taking names and they're kicking ass. And Fafaria just... There's nothing to do. They, they're, they're trying, but it's just... There's nothing there. There's no gas in the tank. No manpower reserves. Right, we're coming up on the time when I might need to spawn in Protestantism manually. I think I, I think I'm gonna have to. 1535. I don't want to, but if, if I have to, I will. Part two is also colonizing up here. I have a feeling Cornwall and Averton are not gonna like that, because I think Averton's gonna want that land. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Lebanon taking the sword to Fafaria and taking a decent chunk of land. Nothing is super developed except for Rashid, but, you know, it's the Nile ports. They are very, very valuable for trade. And Fafaria left to their own devices upstream. Oh my god, I didn't even notice this, but Semyon just annex most of Walaita. I guess the Jewish religion is going to flourish this time around. That's, like, that's, actually like, that's actually the first time, I think, in this whole, or in a long time that I've seen like a, a tag with the Jewish religion um, actually thrive. Because I had one at one point. It was like, uh, I can't remember what the name of it was, but it was a holy order for Judaism. And they got slapped for early on. Uh, regular science missions, Protestant. Uh, so Brandenburg is going to go Protestant and Bremen. No, 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 not Bremen. Um, no, it is Bremen. Bremen is going uh, Protestant as well. And Salento is going Protestant. So Salento... Bremen and Brandenburg are all candidates for uh, for Protestantism in just about a year. I'll do it in like September or August of 1535. All right, we got a little bit of peace. We can we can relax. People are building up their manpower reserves. People are chilling, right. expanding at their own pace. And while this happens, you know, I'm going to take a sip of my drink here. Anatolikon is 
all in line with Theodoro, and they hate Lebanon, Morea, and Salento. Kiev hates Muscat, Livonia hates Denmark, Oretia, and Beluzero. Uh, the Gurids, they hate Hunza. Powol, they hate Sumeru. Sumeru, they hate Sufanburi, Powol, and Janpur. Li Yue hates Yayusu, Sufanburi, and Powol. Japan has no ri no rivals. They can't rival anyone because you know what? They're too damn big. <laughs> They're just too big, you know? Oh, here's a war. Here's one. America has taken the sword to Otolibi. Otolibi is one tech behind and America has a lot of forces ready to go. I think this might be the definitive end of our Otolibi friends. Excuse me. Alright, so time has come to manually spawn in Protestantism. Uh, let's do... Let's do Bremen first. So I think it's Event 2001. 2001. Protestant Reformation. There we go. Alright. Uh, and I will... Let's give it... Let's give it one year for it to spread around. And then I will... Manually switch Bremen to... Uh, their religion. To Protestantism. And Bremen will convert as well as Salento. Give, you know, give it a year to marinate and we'll take it from there. I believe those are the only three tags that wanted to go Protestant. If I'm wrong, please let me know. Nice to see this alliance is still going strong between Sufan Bari and Kamai. These two are are the only two that have kept Sumuru at bay. Sumuru took out Pegu. Sufan Bari said, nah, uh, 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 you stay back. Akechi, they're still surviving. They are still surviving. Ihiri. Kind of curious on what they're how they're gonna do with their stacking modifiers of a uh, thing of regiments being cheaper all around. That's gonna be an interesting one to see. Uh, it's the third Armenian conquest of Mush. Will it be successful this time? I have no idea. Assyria just loses the battles, but Armenia just doesn't win the war. I mean, I'm not sure what. To I am not sure why Assyria loses the battles. I mean, there's probably there's probably a, a well-defined reason, but Armenia just doesn't win the wars. It's it's strange. All right, Bremen, it's your time. I'm just want to make sure. Capital is Stade. And yep, okay. And Brandenburg. Okay. Actually, let's give it one month. We'll simulate. Like, oh, we heard we heard they've converted in Bremen. We're gonna convert too. And then give it a month for Salento. And there we go. Three heralders of Protestantism. Uh, I don't think anyone wanted Reformed. But I will check just in case. Oh, and I also was supposed to make Dundar go seek. I don't re I don't know when it spawned, but... God damn it, I, I wish I remembered that one. But it's the time. February of 1537. What can they do? Oh, okay. That's on them to choose. It's whatever. Uh, but yeah, I was supposed to make Dundar 
Seek, if I remember. Vanilla tags. Yeah, it was Dundar. Okay. Alright. Because I wanted to see, like, what happens if like, we actually have a genuine nation convert to Sikhism instead of Sikhism just being like this tiny thing that barely pops up. Well, now we're going to see because Dundar is going to be big and strong and Akdemachi is going after Cyprus. Assyria losing the battle again. Maybe they'll actually lose this entire war this time because it's just like this is lights out. Armenia is taken the bout. Like, I, I really don't see how Armenia doesn't annex most, if not all, of Assyria. Pate, Pate does not like uh, Mutapa nor Mahafali. The Ibadi are going to have a tough time spreading their the word of Muhammad down south. Okay, finally, Armenia doesn't annex all of Assyria, but they annex two provinces, Mush and Hisin Kaifa. All right. Any other wars going on? Oh, let's see how much Utulibi lost. It's It was almost a full annex. It was almost a full annex. And hey, we have the United States of Albania forming the USA. There we go. Look, look, look at these guys. They changed from red to light blue. And you know what? Those initials are st it's still the US of A. United States of Albania? Nah, nah, nah. United States of America slash Albania. And Utulibi. They are now allied with 3488. But I don't know if 3488 is going to do much against a powerhouse of the United States. And the Mexica. Fua is officially from Bermuda, hopping over to the islands. And colonialism spawned in Fua. All right. We're getting some progress on institutions. Interesting stuff. Mossi is here as well. I think that's one of their missions, right? Oh, they get new missions. Okay, interesting. Um, I guess that event will fire whenever. Invade the north. Ooh. Loot's fu- That's so- That's so shit. Uh, but they get- that. That's some nice power. Invade the south. Oh, oh I guess it's just like raiding missions. Just purely raiding missions. Kolo Thunad also has no allies, so I anticipate they will be absolutely wrecked soon enough. Livonia is going after Beluzero. Oh lord. We saw what Livonia could do when they took over Sapmi. So Beluzero. Oh lord. <laughs> I do appreciate that Livonia... In Doja Shattered Europa still uses my old idea set for them, even though it's not technically valid anymore. But uh Yeah. Belluzero. I'm sorry, this is brutal. <laughs> oh boy. However, there are rebels in Livonia. Nah, they're probably they're, they're gonna get they're gonna get put down. It is only a slight reprieve for the Russians, though. Only a slight. So whoever gets allied with Livonia is... They're gonna do very well. Wow, Protestantism spread fast. Holy shit. Damn. And Norway converted as well as Denmark, so... A sea of blue taking over the Catholic North. Also, I should note that the Gurids, I did design them to be less tolerant. So they're going to want to convert those provinces they have that are Zoroastrian, I think. Oh no, guaranteed Dimiaton. Oh. Hunza, this may be your last run. 
And by the way, yes, I do see the war between Kalchakui and uh, Kahamarka, but it's just, it's not going to amount to much because they're so far away. Like, I don't think Kalchakui is going to take more than a few provinces if they win. And same thing if Kahamarka wins. So that's pretty much my thinking on it. Yeah, I think Hunza might, might die. The Gurids don't really seem intent on mercy here. I'll tie up my hair again. And Livonia, they're not having any mercy on Beluzero either. They are adapted to the cold. Cornwall's actually looking pretty nice here. Alverton might have a little bit of trouble. If, Cor if they declare on Cornwall and they bring in a FWAP. What is this? What the fuck? Theodora, what is... This is a thing? Wait, 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 what? Was this a mission? Dealing with the Italians, Theodosia... I, was this a mission or something? Because <laughs> I've never seen this. Or maybe this is something in Doge's Shattered Europa. I had no idea this was a thing. And the fact that there's that, the fact that there is no localization, it hurts me. You know, it 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 pains me as a as the maker of National Ideas Extended. Anyways, though, um, yeah, Bosp Bosporus or Bosporin. They have a mighty fine navy, if I do say so. Light ship transport combat ability? That's a meme modifier, you know that. Morale of navy, disengagement chance, trade efficiency, trade steering, ship building time. They're they're not particularly good ideas, but okay. There's a war down there. Okay, so Livonia only wanted one province, but you know, you gave them a taste of blood, Beluzero. They're gonna want more. Muscat, no allies still. Orenburg, Cossacks, they're inching closer. They're getting closer. Uh, let's see, anything else? Akan is still colonizing in North Africa. Kabu, still a tributary. Mossi, no, no nothing. Potiguara, no relations. Fontaine has formed Haiti! I think they formed Haiti last time as well. I know my boys are going to form Cascadia as well. Soon enough. I think they need Admin Tech 10. So, soon enough, soon enough. And Svendale. I don't... Can they form anything? Yes, they can. I feel like they're going to form... Canada, just because it's on top of the Quebec Nation one. Atlanta, can you form anything? No. 3488, can you? Yes, you can. I have a feeling it's going to be Florida. Yeah, it's probably going to be Florida. Alright, cool. Uh, but yes, there is a war over here. This is Armenia. Wait, weren't you allied with Isfahan? Excuse me? What is going on? What, what, what? Armenia thinks they have enough chutzpah because they're one, tech, they're one military tech ahead to take on Isfahan. Now, Isfahan may be part of the reason one of my children died, but I will side with the Zoroastrians over the Coptic here. Oh, Armenia is actually allied with the Gurids. The Gurids might join in, and Hunza has been pieced out and left with a mere two provinces. Their capital is now in Sialkat. Gur the Gurids have, uh, have a little bit of trouble here, though, in the mountains of Gor. Any other wars? Nope. And again, no movement. They're just, they're dancing around. They be dancing. 
they be dancing. Mzab is now allied with Salento. The Idrisid allied with Partu. Aktimachi allied with Cornwall, Duvacha, and Bosporus. Are the Gurids called in? They are called in. Okay, Isfahan. It's uh, it's gonna be lights out. It is uh, it is night night time. <laughs> Just because like Armenia plus the Gurids and Isfahan is two techs behind the Gurids, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a rough going if you know what I mean. Armenia did lose that battle, but. That's one battle. Isfahan is still battered and beaten. They've still got plenty of manpower, though. Plenty of man Oh, it's a separate war! Oh! The Ligurids just straight up want this land for themselves. They don't care about what Armenia wants. It's like, no, 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 no. I don't care about what you want. I'm just in this for what I want. You know? You know. Oh yeah, uh, Vononeria annexed Enusulavka. There is peace in Sumatra for now. Up until someone colonizes it and Vononeria wants to kick them out. Guanseo broke their tributary agreement as well. They are now surviving on their own in over here with 13k regiments. Or 13 troops. However you want to splice it. Micronesia is almost colonized for Hawaii. -a. Fwa is about to establish a colonial nation here. And damn, they have a lot of allies. Cornwall, Sura, Anatolikon, Salento, and Averton. Oh, we have something. The American conquest. Well, I, I shouldn't say. The Albanian conquest of Baltimore. Well, Atlanta, you woke up the Albanian beast. And now you're gonna pay for it. Oh, and 3488 is in this. Hold up, hold up. Okay, and they are they are behind on military. The Albanians are gonna wreck house. They are gonna wreck house. Uh, we're gonna go to about 1545? Yeah, we'll go to like middle of next year. Oh, whoa, 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 what is this? So, Ihri is going after Ket. Ket cannot hold them back. Mondstadt is going after Verdun. So, Mon this is Mondstadt allied with Brandenburg allied with Salento. So Mondstadt with Brandenburg and Salento. And they're fighting Champagne, the Papacy, and Shkuln. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Kuln is not fielding a lot at all. Champagne fielding a decent amount, as well as the Papacy. Salento, over 20k. Mondstadt, over 30k. And Brandenburg over 20k. Forgive me if I am presumptive, but I think I know which side is gonna win. But let's take a look at the sides. Mondstadt has, has the edge in discipline, has the edge in morale, and tactics are the same. I do believe that they just don't have the manpower. That's the only thing. Mondstadt has no manpower, really. They're using up using all of it right now. Moravia, what? Oh, Raytheia is going after the rest of Moravia, but Mondstadt is in this. Mondstadt's defending Moravia. This could be big. If Raytheia take uh, is able to hurt Mondstadt enough, that might stop their momentum, or vice versa. If I don't know. There's there's a lot of go there's a lot going on. Okay, okay. Oh, and Savoy is in this too. Oh my goodness, Monster, you're in a bit of a maelstrom. And uh, I do believe Ihri is just going to uh, 
annex a very big chunk of kit. It is, uh, it's also not very easy to traverse across this terrain, man. It's like, it, it takes so long to go from one place to another. So retreats are also super long. e, e Hitty is just dominating. They really are. Regiments are ch as cheap as they come. Armenia was successful against Isfahan. They took Rasht, Lahijan, and Sultaneh. And the capital is down for the Gurids. So Isfahan is staring down Death Valley. Mondstadt is actually... They're, they're starting to begin trouble. They were fielding over 30k before, but now they're fielding under 20. However, Reims is, is down. Is Fwa in this? No. No? Oh my god, there's so much going on. Averton is going after Cambresis. I'm, pr I'm butchering that, I know that. But it's right here. So Averton is going after Champagne and Köln. Uh, and however, Averton is allied with Fwa in Denmark. So Fwa and Denmark are going in on Champagne. <laughs> The f what is going on in Europe right now, man? What the fuck? It's like, it literally is dominoes, like, one after the other, one after the other. <laughs> fuck it, we're going to 1546. We'll extend this out a year because I want to see what the conclusion is to some of this. To some of it. Because Mondstadt, they are doing well against Champagne. Hell. They have Verdun right here. This is a fucking great province. A 41 development. And it has buildings in it too. But they are slowly... Oh, they pieced out. They pieced out Champagne. Okay. Uh, but Mondstadt is suffering against Retia. They're trying to take back more obvious provinces. And they are doing that. But at the same time, Mondstadt's home is in jeopardy. It really is in jeopardy. And Champagne, like, they can't do anything, and Köln can't do anything, so they're free pickings for Foix and Averton, and maybe even Denmark if they're ambitious enough. Capital of Moravia is retaken. Mondstadt might try to uh, fight Savoy and Rietia, but I doubt it. It's too much. Raytheia just has too many troops. And Savoy is too... Uh, is untouched. They re It's just... Yeah. I think Mondstadt might lose some provinces and Moravia might get fully annexed. Oh, and America's in this. Yeah, Baltimore is firmly in the hands of the United States of Albania. And 3488 is... As long alongside Atlanta are gonna get slapped. Excuse me. Wh Venezuela, you formed Colombia. Okay, not gonna question it. I'm just gonna continue right along. Just sure. Yeah. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't understand some of this. Um, but Svendale is going after Utulibi. Oh, a little bit of aggression from the from the bright green. And they're winning. All right. Usually Sakan's submissions don't do well, unfortunately, but Averton and Svendale, they're, they're, they're doing, they're doing stuff. They're prospering. All right, September of this year. We got to cut it. But this has been, like, very, very interesting. This is this is some good shit. And also, the papacy lost some land to Salento. Okay. It's a little bit of a cliffhanger, but we got to leave it there. Champagne is still fighting for their life with Kuln, but Averton is closing in tightly. I have a feeling Averton is going to get a very strong foothold on the on the continent. 
and maybe even Denmark. Livonia is strutting their stuff, and the Gurids are trying still to take this province down. But Gol the 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 war goal at Golestan isn't taken, but the capital is, and I still think the Gurids are gonna eke out a small victory, but a victory nonetheless. So yeah, this this part has really just been like. East Asia's taking a back seat for a little bit. It's time for Europe to pop off. <laughs> Maybe we'll continue that into part five. Who knows? Uh, but for now... Oh, even Lebanon is going after Fafaria, trying to finish him off. And it's... It is going to be lights out for Fafaria. But yeah, quite the action-packed episode. Uh, let's go to the leaderboard for the stats. And uh, we can end off this year part four. So, in first place is Japan, in second place is Mondstadt, in third place is Livonia, in fourth place is Retia, in fifth place is Foix, in sixth place is the Orenburg Cossacks, in seventh place is Amerzica, in eighth place is Salento, in ninth place is Sura, in tenth place is Cornwall, in eleventh place is Averton. And in 12th place is the Idrisids. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in part 5.